Well, hey, thanks for watching this video. I want to share with you some of my thoughts and a little bit of a history and planning concerning our big announcement uh, that Gina Shea will go to Ghana on behalf of Cypress Global uh, to be a missionary in 2019. That's very exciting. I know that she's excited. We're excited. And this is a process that really, if we look back uh, for our family, we believe started many years ago but kind of came to light uh, this past summer and something we've been praying about and planning on and looking at and you know in mission work you don't get to plan out every detail and have control over everything you just take steps of faith and uh, that's what we've been doing and obviously we're doing our best to plan things and line things out um, but really the Lord says move and we move so I just want to share with you um, how this is going to work um, the plan is for Gina to accompany the men's mission team in February of 2019 to go over to Ghana and then get set up and then we will head on out. We'll leave her behind to get settled. And then obviously when we leave country, she'll, she'll stay there. And you know, she'll be there uh, most of 2019 <clears throat> working with Cypress Global Ghana and our partners there like Pastor Hayford and uh, you know, Headmaster Emmanuel and our brother Mike and many others that many of you know or at least have heard of. Uh, the property that we purchased is, uh, you know, the projects are ongoing and she'll be a part of, of those projects. She'll be a part of uh, partnering with uh, the Tessie Church and uh, assisting uh, Hayford and their church in ministry while learning at the same time. She will be a part of discipleship and leadership development. Uh, she will also be a part of receiving and hosting and leading mission teams that come into the country. Uh, that has long been a passion of hers, and that's something that I've been praying for someone that can help me because I can only go so many times. We're getting to the point in this ministry where we can send more than I can actually go, and that's a good thing. I'll have to admit, I'm going to be super jealous when I send the first team and I don't get to go, but I know that's growth, and I'm excited about that. <clears throat> So that's kind of a picture of what she's going to be doing while she's there. But what happens between now and then? Um, there's a lot to do. Uh, some logistical things like, you know, what do we do with stuff that she has? And how does she pay off debt? And how does she work and do this to make money and, and all these things? Well, we're just praying and we're trusting the Lord. And the plan now is that uh, at some point she'll move back to Claremore. Uh, and part of that will be to work here at the office with me and, and learn some of the inner workings of how this organization operates, how we do things in Ghana, prepare teams, all that good stuff. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Gina has a long list of books that I've given her that cover a variety of subjects from spiritual growth to cultural awareness to biblical missions to inspiring uh, missionary stories, uh, just things that will help her uh, in the time frame that she's uh, here in the U.S. The big thing between now and February is, is raising is raising funds. Uh, we estimate that she needs about seven thousand U.S. dollars to be able to uh, operate and live in Ghana next year. That covers flights, meals, transportation in country, lodging, uh, emergency funds, and so on and so forth. Uh, if you think about it, that's really not a lot of money considering how much that we have to live on here in the U.S. But she's going to have to raise that between now and February. So um, I want you to consider two things. First off and most importantly, will you pray? Will you pray for Gina as she prepares? Will you pray for us as we help her prepare? Uh, will you pray for the, the time between now and the time that she leaves that the Lord will mold her into exactly what she wants before she ever steps foot on uh, the soil there in Ghana? Uh, will you pray for this process? Um, process of making changes, the process of a lot of unknowns, the process of raising funds, the process of just learning a new area of life that isn't set before you. Um, there's no playbook for this, uh, the way we're doing it and the, the way that the Lord is leading. Um, second thing is, uh, would you consider uh, donating towards her funding, either monthly or a one-time gift or whatever? Uh, every little bit helps and will go directly towards her funding that she will use to cover those expenses that I just mentioned. Uh, that's a big, that's obviously a big thing. Can't do mission work without money. Um, and we ask you to be involved in, in both of those ways. I also ask that you would encourage her. 
it's exciting right now and I'm sure there's already been some doubts but no doubt that there will be more and there'll be frustrating and, and discouraging times so if you think of her pray for her and uh, encourage her send a message uh, an email whatever just say hey I'm proud of you or you know I'm praying for you or whatever that would be encouraging um, that is a big deal so anyway that's kind of where we're at where we're going through we'll update you more as we get along uh, further down in this process uh, but right now we're kind of starting from scratch and making life transitions finishing she's finishing up her job in the near future and we'll be uh, moving back to Claremore raising funds uh, learning the organization learning the ministry learning a new culture although she's been there a few times it's a whole different ballgame to live there and a lot of that she'll learn on the job training but uh, we want to get as ready as we can in the meantime so I invite you come along and join this adventure um, see what God does uh, see how God uses this and uh, be a part of what he is doing not only here in the US through Cypress Global but in Ghana through Cypress Global Ghana and and now as we send our first missionary uh, by way of Gina Shea uh, I invite you if your heart's moved to do anything other than just go, okay, yeah, I'm going on this journey. Let's do it. Let's see what God has in store. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.